Hi, fishy friends. Welcome back to our show. What show do you ask? The show formerly known as the Daily Bubble is now the Pacific Cow Show. Now that we're in our studio, we can do things like this or this. Ah! Uh, today, we wanted to return to something big, really big. So we have our number one crab, Captain Quinn, on the scene to give us today's story. Ahoy, Axel! Whoa, it looks choppy out there, Quinn. Are you all right? Oh, we are. This is nothing. Reminds me of rocking back and forth in me baby cradle. <laughs> uh, okay, then. Uh, to each their own. Let's talk about whales. Oh, we are. Big whales, small whales. You know, they range in size from 5 to 110 feet. What? I thought they were all huge. Ah, a lot of people do, because there's a lot of misunderstandings about what animals are actually whales. Now, y'all probably look at an animal like this, or this, and think, ah, there she blows, a whale. But most people don't realize that animals like these are also whales. Oh, really? Dolphins and porpoises? Sure. You see, whales include all the members of a group of marine mammals called the cetaceans. The cetaceans descend from an ancestor that lived around 34 million years ago and exist in two main groups today. The Mysticetes, or baleen whales, and the Odontocetes, or toothed whales. Dolphins and porpoises are part of that second group, the toothed whales. So they qualify as whales. In fact, one of the most famous toothed whales, the Arca, is actually the largest species of dolphin. Wow, no way! That's one fierce dolphin. Hey, what kind of whales do we see here in Southern California? Oh, a lot. We get baleen whales like blue whales, fin whales, gray whales, humpback whales, minky whales sometimes. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What is baleen? Is that like their teeth? Oh, it's what they have instead of teeth. Baleen is a filter feeding system inside the mouth of a whale that looks like a giant bristly mustache. It's made out of keratin, like human hair and fingernails are. Baleen whales use it to catch various small critters out of the water, or even out of the sand sometimes. And when they catch enough, the old whale licks them off the baleen with their enormous tongue. Sounds crazy, but some baleen whales can catch thousands of pounds of food that way each day. Thousands of pounds? Jumping Jelly Jamboree! Right. Hey, what toothy whales might we see in California? Oh, loads! Common dolphins, Pacific white-sided dolphins, Risso's dolphins, harbor porpoises! Why, if you're really lucky, you'll even see orcas from time to time. And, lacking baleen, they all focus on catching various animals with their teeth. The presence of so many different whales in California says a lot about the health of our ocean habitats. How so? Well, think about it. If you got a habitat that can provide adequate food for an animal like, say, the blue whale, who weighs as much as 150 tons, the ecosystem must be pretty productive, right? Does that mean that a... Whoa! Ah! Uh, Quinn, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, what a rush! Yeah, no, where was I? Uh, oh, right. So, the whales and the humans can share the ocean, but we gotta do it smart, and we have to respect the environment that does so much for us all. This means stopping pollutants from entering the ocean through our rivers, and oil spills, and plastics, and things like that. Oh, and when we're catching seafood, we gotta leave enough of it there for the animals, too. Uh, exactly, exactly, Axel. And finally, we gotta confront climate change, which affects whales in many ways. Wow, well, it sounds like there's lots of ways for us to help the whales. Thanks, Quinn. Enjoy the rest of your whale watch. No, oh, I'm not on a whale watch. No? I'm out storm chasing in the Central Pacific. What? Why? Fun! <laughs> Whoa! 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 <laughs> Quinn! Uh, Quinn! 
Quinn! Quinn! Uh-oh, I gotta go. Uh, we'll see you next Friday, folks, right here on the Pacific Pal Show. Uh, where in the ocean did he say he was again? Quinn! Yar once if you can hear me!